Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. <clears throat> and I just thought I would come live and just play for a little bit. You know, no big sale or anything like that. That's coming later, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but I saw something the other day that kind of inspired me to play with my scraps. Hey, Terry, how are you? I'm just playing today. I just thought I would uh, do some stuff with my scraps and play around for a second. I've been working on some um, Christmas bundles and some holiday bundles and some things like that to try and get ready for my live. Hey, Debbie, how are you? I'm glad you got your package. I hope that you love it as much as I do. So I watched a video yesterday. I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before. My days run together anymore. Um, and I was watching <clears throat> Nazi on Amity Bloom and she was making these paper strips with scrap papers. And I just thought it was the cutest little idea. So I thought I would try my hand at it. But I'm going to put my own little spin on it. So, um, oh, I'm so glad. Hey, Kanita, I hope I said your name right. I'm glad you love it, Debbie. I love it, too. Those are so much fun to make. They're labor-intensive. They take a while to make, but they're totally worth it. So, as I was watching um, Nazi yesterday, she was taking her, just her little strips of paper, and um, so I think you just, I think one inch strips work really well for this project, at least one inch strips. You don't want them to be too flimsy, but you don't want them to be too wide either, because then, hey Ashley, glad you're playing. Nothing better than getting to play in your craft room, right? <laughs> So I'm just going to cut a couple of one inch strips out and they don't have to be exact. You know, you can do one inch, whatever size you feel good about. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll do one on this side. Cut this top strip off. Oh, good. Hey, Holly, how are you? I'm glad I got your name right, Kanita, because um, I kind of stink at that sometimes. <laughs> I'm so bad about getting people's names correct. And then I'm really, really bad about remembering people's names. That's what's really the hard job for me, is, is remembering people's names. I'm doing well, thank you. Oh, kids are napping. That's the best time to get anything done, right? I remember those days. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad my kids are not little anymore. It is. An exhausting job to be a mommy. It's rewarding, but it's also exhausting. All right, so I'm just going to cut a few strips, and then we'll just start playing. Um, I think that's good enough. So these are good ideas um, to do with, you know, just a little scraps of paper that you've got laying around your craft room. Aw, thank you, Holly. That really makes me feel so good. You don't know how much I appreciate you taking the time to say that. It's a lot of work sometimes keeping up with a channel and an Etsy shop and all the good stuff. It's fun, but, you know, some days I'm like, why am I doing that? I'm sorry, Gracie. I didn't know you were sitting there. Sorry, I've run over my dog with the stool. <laughs> oh, thank you, Holly. Okay, so... Basically, I'm just going to take some strips of paper and I'm just going to add paper to it. So, it's a good way to use up your scraps. And it doesn't have to be 12 inch strips. It can be whatever, you know, size strips that you want to use. But I'm going to use, I have 12 inch strips, so that's what I'm going to use. So, basically, you just take the little strips and then you go find other pieces that you like that you think would go with the strip or complement the strip. Now see, to me, that doesn't complement each other very well. But this one does. So, basically, 
you just take and snip you off a little piece. And then I'm going to snip it again. And then I'm just going to start stacking them on my strip. Hey, Melissa. How are you? And I think, oh good, this strip has some pink on the back and I like this pink. So I'm just basically cutting and placing just in random. There's no particular order. It's just randomly placing pieces along the edges. Now see, I think that might go well on top of that piece. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of that, if I can get it apart. You have four boys, Ashley. God love your heart. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely have some crazy days. I had one boy and two girls, and they kept me busy for sure. Okay, let me see. I want to find some more little different little pieces. I have these, all these boxes of, I might like that. I have just little scraps of paper, you know, that I save after I've done a project or made something with them. So, I'm going to go dig back through these little scraps and see what we can do with them. Two boys and two girls. Oh, I see that. Two boys and two girls. Yeah, you definitely have your hands full. And I will say, all my life I thought boys were easier. And they are somewhat because girls are dramatic. Um, but those little boys, they just, they tug on those heartstrings like no other. I mean, for some reason, you just get attached to those little boys. I want to use some of this. I love, love, love this bright blue. So I'm probably not going to get to stay on here a whole long time because I am trying to make kits and stuff for my live for tomorrow. Um... But I did just want to come on and just kind of play along today. Just, you know, do something fun. Um, sometimes I tend to get so involved in making my kits and trying to do that that I forget to have fun with it. So today I just needed to have fun. Hey, Julie, how are you doing? I like this, but it needs to be on top of something or it's going to blend in with those polka dots. So, I'm just cutting little strips and randomly adding them. And see, now I think I want to add in some words. I have this old... This was just a little piece of a children's book page that I, um, I don't know. I made a project with it or something. But I think it would be cute just to add something with some words. Just to give it a little something different. And I think I want to add some solid color too. Hey, Dana, how are you? I'm just playing with my scraps today, just kind of wanting to have some fun, and I thought, well, I'll just go live and have some fun, because it sounded like a good idea. See, I think I like this one to be on top of this one. What do y'all think about that? Maybe if we do it like that. Can y'all even see that? <laughs> Am I even in frame? Well, I can't fit the whole thing in the frame, but that's okay. I'll make sure that you get to see it. 
So I just need one more piece to kind of go with this one. I wonder if these flowers, let's try that and see if these flowers would go. Hey, Touch of Grace, how are you? If I miss something somebody's saying, y'all holler at me. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Well, I'm just playing, and this will kind of show you that it's real easy, even if you have to lay in bed to do it or whatever. Um, you know, because some I know that there are some ladies out there who are sick and, you know, who can't do a lot. But this is something that you can do laying in the bed. You know, you can lay in the bed and do it, or you can sit at your in your recliner and do it, or sit there while you're watching TV. Hey, Dana Yates. <laughs> Both Danas. It is a good circle of people, Dana. Hey, hey, Selena. We're just crafting around today. We're just, I thought I would just come live and just play for a little bit. I'm probably not going to get to stay on very, very long. Um... But I just kind of wanted to, I, I don't know, I got inspired yesterday. I watched um, Nazzy with, um, on Amity Bloom, and she made these cute little paper strips out of her um, scraps. So I thought I would try my hand at it, and I thought, well, I'll just go live and do it while I'm playing. That way I get to talk to all my friends. So basically, once you get them placed where you like them, I think I have a text, but I'm not sure. Um, once you get in a place where you like them, then you just start gluing them down. So I'm just going to start putting a little glue. And I'm not putting a whole lot of glue because I think I'm going to sew. I think I might want to sew um, after I glue. So I don't want, you know, a whole bunch of glue to get in the way of my sewing. So I'm just basically putting a little glue on the strip and and I'm kind of trying to keep them together so I remember where I had everything placed. And I don't lose my spot. But this is a fun little quick way to use up your scraps. It's relaxing. You can do this anywhere because you don't need a whole lot of tools. You don't have to sew it. You can glue it and leave it. Um, but I just was kind of in the mood to sew it, so... That's why I said I'm I'm going to wait and, or not put a lot of glue so I can sew it. But if you don't want to sew it, just put a little more glue and make sure that they stick on there good. And then it can be whatever you want it to be. Oh, I don't think I want that one there. I think I want it there. Hopefully y'all can see. Okay, I know you got, uh, Selena, you got the um, paper ribbons, the ones that I kind of fold into like a ribbon and put them on paper. I'll show you. These are the ones Selena's talking about she got from me. These are paper ribbons. And basically what I do is I just take my scrap pieces of paper and I just kind of fold them randomly. I think I actually... I may have done a tutorial on this. I can't remember. Um, but then I just take them once and I run them through my sewing machine. And once I'm done running them through my sewing machine, you can use them as little, you know, on the edge of the pages. Just glue them on. And it's just an added little element that adds that special touch. Um, you know, just to give the page a little decoration. So that's what Selena was talking about. That's what she got. Hang on, guys. I'm going to check uh, catch up on my feeds. Absolutely. Now, is your name Grace? Touch of Grace? Is that your actual name, Grace? Hey, Carol, how are you? Oh, Beth. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. I'm glad you got to catch me live, too. I'm just playing with scraps today. Trying to catch up on my feeds. Yes, you can, Debbie. You can do it using your tray and just sit there and cut and glue. And then you have cute little embellishments to use on your pages in your journal. 
Yeah, they do make good bookmarkers too, Selena. Okay, Grace. All right, so that's what you do with those, and I'll show you in a minute what to do with these. But if y'all give me just a split second, and y'all see, I don't have these on here. I'm going to hold it up a little closer. I don't have them on there perfect, um, but I don't like perfect. I like a little cattywonker, and if that's even a word. <laughs> but I like for it to just be, you know, different. I like random. So I'm going to run to my sewing machine real quick now. I won't be able to to move the camera for you to see that but it won't take but just a second and i'm gonna run a strip of thread down it and i'll show you what it looks like in just one second y'all can talk amongst yourselves while i run this through real quick Debbie they would look cute on a card so this is what it looks like after I've sewn it and I just ran strip now you, you don't have to do the zigzag you can do a straight stitch and um, just whatever is your fancy whatever you like okay so then if you're you know if you're doing like a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout this would be perfect on that 12 by 12 layout oh well thank you for coming grace I appreciate it you be careful picking up your daughter. Thank you, Grace. So basically, what you would do is if, you know, like if you do a 12 by 12, well, this is, you know, much smaller than a 12 by 12. So what I would do is just, you know, kind of eyeball, because I eyeball everything, y'all. I don't really measure a whole lot. And then I'm just going to take it and cut it like that. And it's not going to matter that you've cut your stitching because you're going to glue that. So it's not even going to make a difference. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, run it down my stitching. And if I run it down my stitching, it, that just ensures that it holds my stitching in there and the stitching's not going to come loose. And then I'm just going to lay this down on the edge of my page, just like that. And I always get too much glue. Okay, so it looks like that on the edge of your page. And then, I don't know if I have a journal to put it in. But I do have a book laying here. This is a super cute book. So if you had this in your journal, like if you wanted to put this page in your journal, then you would automatically have little page tabs poking up. It would look like page tabs, but it's actually just on a strip. So it just adds a little extra decoration to your page. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. I mean, you know, if I open up a, um, a journal and see a page like this, that's just, that's perfect, you know. It just adds that little extra something. And if you wanted to just glue your strip together and wait until you're ready to put it in your journal or on whatever journal page, um, you know, that you're going to put it on, you can actually sew it directly onto the journal page, too, instead of having to glue it. So it's pretty much a preference. Preference of whatever you want to do somebody's at my door hey bubba yeah. i'm live it. huh yeah. i was just i was just letting you know i'm on live uh, you did yeah. okay so then you have this little strip left and it would be so super cute if you put it on another journal page, maybe at the top. You know, and then you could have the little tabs at the top. As a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it on this one. Because this page will eventually go into a journal. So we're just going to go ahead and put it in. You know what? I don't mind that the words aren't straight up and down. Doesn't bother me a bit. I like different. You know, I don't like perfect. I've never liked perfect. And I'm not going to start in my crafting world. Hey, Laura, how are you? I'm just playing with scraps right now. 
So see, you can just put it on the top edge. And so when you put it in a book, hang on, let me grab my book. So when you have it in a journal, see you have the little topper or the little tab sticking up. So of course, you know, this page is a little bit too big for this book, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. So I just think that's really, really cute. And I thought it was a great idea. And I thought it was a great idea of something that you can do with your scraps instead of throwing them away. Because, I mean, look at all those tiny little pieces. There's lots you can do with your scraps. So I'm going to do one more strip. And again, like I say, I'm probably not going to be able to be on much longer. But I just kind of want to thank you, Dana. That's what I was thinking. And you know, now that you say snippet strip, hang on a second. Let me go back up and catch up on what I've missed. Uh, uh, now that you say snippet trip, uh, snippet strips, I can talk. Yes, Julie, they would be super cute for belly bands. You can either do horizontal or vertical belly bands. You can even use it for a tuck spot at the bottom of the page. So, um, but since Dana said snip it, I wanted to show you that you don't have to just use paper. You can mix. So I have this little basket of fabric scraps, and I also have this little basket. <laughs> Y'all, I got little baskets all over my craft room. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And um, this is my snippet basket. So anything that I, or not snippet basket, cluster basket. So anything that I think that I would like to put on a cluster, I just chunk into this little basket. And then once it gets full, then I start making my clusters. And I just pull from this little, little basket here and make clusters out of it. So, but you can use the fabric scraps. And I love, love, love this one. This is a cute scrap. It's from, um, I did a journal for Kate the Skate 22. That's her name on YouTube. And um, this was her um, printables that she has in her shop. So you guys can go over there and check that out. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do. And then I have... Yes, it is my catch-all basket. That's for sure. Thank you, Laura. So, um, I have these. These come in my Seven Gypsies um, mixed media packs. So, look at all of these little pieces that you can cut apart and add to your strips of paper. You can do it with strips of paper. You can do it with strips of fabric. Whatever you want to do. It is your project to play with and do what you want to with it. So I am going to mix and match fabric and paper on this strip. And I actually really like this with the gray, um, but I think it's a little bit too big. So I am going to trim that off. And I can't decide if I want it up or down. So we're gonna do up right now and see, how, see where it goes. See where it gets us. And then I also have this. Just little bitty teeny tiny pieces of scraps that are already cut that I think I can add in here. I almost think that that light blue kind of blends into much with the gray though, so I'm going to do the purple. And then I want a solid color. And then I think I want to do a fabric. Ooh, that's a good idea, Dana, to put it on the flap of an envelope. That's adorable. That's a very cute idea. So we'll put that one there. And then I'm trying to make sure that it's things that are going to match up pretty cute with the gray. This one's a cute little piece. Let's just add a piece of it because we gotta have some florals. It's a little bit too big. So see, you can just cut, cut, cut your little pieces 
of snippets to however you, you know, whatever size you want them. And I tend with this project, I tend to like the thicker papers. I mean, you can use the thinner papers because they're going to stay. Um, but the thicker papers just tend to stand up a little better to, you know, to what going to be used for. Now, that's pretty. I think it's a little bit too big for it, but I love that purple flower. I absolutely love purple anyway, so we're going to trim him down a little bit and see what we can get with it. And see, I trim off in my in my little snippet basket every now and then. I have to go through and ditch all these because you know, I mean, I mean, you could save those, but I'm I'm just not gonna. I, I've saved enough stuff in my craft room that um, I don't think I need to save that. So see, I think that purple flower is pretty on top of that fabric, but I think I want to kind of do it this way so that you can see the fabric a little better so basically what you're doing is just kind of making little cluster strips on your on your strip i don't know my eye just keeps coming to this green so we're gonna have to do something with it and i think i know i think i want to trade that for that and then we can add this one down here somewhere I don't really like that color on top of that, but I do, let me see, I probably need to get rid of these scraps because yes, Laura, they make super cute little tabs, and were you, um, were you on here, Laura, when I showed you how I put them on a page and see if you put them in a journal? You know, it just looks like little tabs. But if you do it this way, you know, um, like I usually, when I put tabs in a book, um, I go through and staple them on to each page. But that, doing it this way, you know, you've got a couple of tags poking out that look super cute, you know, and you don't have to staple as many single pieces on there. Okay, I like this flower. So I'm going to trim him down some. Yeah, Dana, you can do any shape you want. You can do circles, you can do triangles, you can do octagons, whatever shape that you have. You can use your punches. You know, I've got a heart shape on my punches, and I don't really have a whole lot of punches just because they're so expensive, and I'm just, you know, I guess... I don't know if you'd call it cheap or frugal, probably a little a little of both. But um, ooh, I have this super cute um chenille that I got from Selena and I made a pocket in a my last little sewing journal with it. Wouldn't this be so cute on this page or on this strip? Let's try that. And I just want a little square of it. Um, and I think I want to trade places. Okay. Let's do this. I don't like that piece on there. <laughs> it just wasn't working for me, so we're going to do that. So you can change it up however you want it to be. I kind of like this one sideways. And I love it because none of it has to be perfect. All right, and I think I want one more piece down here and it needs to be small. I don't know why I keep going back to that, but it's just not working on here. I 
makes it a little harder using this gray. Okay, I like the light pink with the gray. Let's let's go for this, because if I keep thinking about it too much, then I'll overthink it and I will never get it done. And then I just need a little teeny tiny piece to go on top of this, and I think I want fabric. I have a little teeny tiny piece of fabric right here. And look, it's not perfect. I think I will trim that off though. I think I want to actually trim it a little bit smaller. And just put it right there. Hey Danny, how are you? Oh, I love Chanel too, Debbie. Love it, and it makes perfect little pockets for your journals. Uh oh, I'm knocking pieces off. Well, I might as well start gluing because that's about all I'm going to fit on this strip anyway. Now, that's a real cute idea, uh, Dana, to put these on envelope flaps. So I think I might trim this one up and put, put some on envelope flaps because I really like that idea. Now, with the fabric, I just kind of glue onto the paper. You can glue onto the fabric or the paper, whichever way you want to do it. I think I kind of want this one catty, catty cornered, so to speak. So now I'm just gluing them onto my paper strip. I love, love, love Chanel. It's so pretty. And it, I think everybody has really good memories from Chanel because it reminds me so much of my grandmother. Oh, Danny, we're just making snippet um, borders, I guess you could call them. I'm just um, playing with scraps, basically. Just making things to decorate journal pages with. And I'm not putting the glue on here perfect. I'm not putting the strips on here perfect. I'm not doing anything. Per I'm not a perfect person, so. Okay. So then, all I have to do is just sew down the middle. So I'll be right back. Y'all chat amongst yourselves while I make my little sew. Okay, so this time I just sewed it with a straight line. I didn't do the zigzag stitch. I just did the straight line. And it just adds just a little extra something. So there we have that. And I brought over some envelopes. Wait, that's the wrong kind of envelope. Hang on, let me get a different one. I put a lot of envelopes that have the a straight flap because I think if you're going to put them on the flaps of the envelopes, it needs to be a straight flap. Okay, I found one. I didn't think I was going to. Hey, Brooke, how are you? I'm probably missing things on the feed because I was over there sewing. You're right, Laura. There is no such thing as perfect. Aw, thank you for coming, Holly. Have fun at the football game. I miss those days when my kids were young playing sports. Those were fun days. All right, so I have an envelope with a straight flap. So we're going to try it. 
So I'm just going to line it up over here and see how I like it. I think I like this end for it. So I'm going to flip it over and kind of line it up how I want it. And then I'm just going to mark it off so I kind of know where to cut. I don't think I want to cut that side. I think I just want to kind of eyeball it and see how good this will do. Hey, Tammy, I'm great. How are you? All right, so let's just snip this one. And I think I need to, well, I was going to try and snip it at an angle, but I'm going to snip it straight across first and see what that looks like. All right, let's see. So I think I like it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on it. Tammy, we're just playing with scraps today. Just doing some projects to try and get rid of some of our scraps. Scrap paper and scrap fabric that we have in our little bins and baskets. I have a blue million of the little bins and baskets. You know, and I put them in a bin or a basket. Um, they can... Um, you know, I'm going to have something specific to do with it, and I never get to it, so it just sits in the little bin or basket. <laughs> but that's okay, too, because eventually, eventually I get to it. I absolutely hate going to bed at night because I never get to finish my projects that I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, I wish I never had to sleep. Of course, I've said that all my life. I hate going to bed. I hate sleeping. So I wish that I could just stay awake all the time, and I got that on there a little bit crooked. But how stinking cute is that on that envelope flap? I am in love with that. I, thank you, Dana, for that idea. That's awesome. Tammy, you're going live Saturday at 4. So, everybody, um, Tammy is My World in OKC on YouTube. And she will be doing a live video at 4 o'clock on Saturday. Selena, are you still here? Um, Laura, I went through and started trying to organize mine, and, um, it's hard to organize your scraps, trying to figure out what you're going to use them for, you know, um, but I kind of just have, you know, like this little bin that's got the little bitty square strips or rectangle strips in it, you know, and then I have this one that's got a little bit bigger of strips in it, so, but you can use, um, like Gail, mom, Gail Gosnelli. She uses um, sandwich baggies, you know, to organize her different size strips in. But it is. It's a job. It's a job to get them organized. But once you get them organized, it's a little easier to help keep them organized. Is Candy here? Hey, Nan. Okay, I'm missing lots of stuff. Is Candy here? Hey, Candy. I'm sorry, you didn't miss anything. We're just playing with stra uh, scraps. I'm just making little scrap strips. <laughs> that Say that three times fast. Just little strips of scraps and, and just, you know, figuring out things that we can use them um, to decorate. So I'm making these, and I'm just gluing little strips on strips. <laughs> so we used it as an envelope topper. This was Live to Learn Dana's idea. How cute is that? And then I watched Nazzy at Amy D. Bloom. She made some, and she used them on the edges of her pages to go into her journals. So um, then once you put it in your journal, it looks like tabs. See? So how cute is that? Of course, it's too big for this book, but I don't have a journal near me right now. Okay, let me scroll through and just kind of catch up. Yes, Tammy, live videos are a lot of work, a whole lot of work, and you'll be exhausted uh, when you're when you're finished. <laughs> I miss you too, Candy. I'm glad you got to come, Nan. Are you working? All right, so on with this one, where can we put this one? I'm just trying to think of different little ideas and things we can do with them. 
you know, they'd be super cute on the side of a tag. Hang on, I have some tags. So a lot of times I'll take my extra scraps that I have if they're kind of bigger scraps and I have this punch uh, it's a tag topper so you can you can use a one and a half inch strip you can use a two and a half inch strip or you can use a two inch strip and it gives you the different designs on each one so I'll take my scraps can y'all see that okay or is the sun kind of blind in the camera let me close my blind and see if, if it'll be better hang on that might help you to be able to see a little better oh you're welcome tammy yes they make great bookmarks danny i'm telling you it took me forever to buy this punch but it has, I use this punch almost every day. Every single day I use this punch. Ooh, Dana, that's a cute idea. Dana said with Christmas coming up, and y'all, I'm doing some Christmas bundles. And I was actually in a little bit going to pull out, because I have a whole huge bag of Christmas paper scraps. And I was going to make some of these um, out of the Christmas scraps. So that's a super cute idea. Dana said to make them into presents. That's adorable. Ah, oh, Nan is working. Thank you, Tammy. It's a lot of work doing the lives. It sure is. I mean, usually when I'm going to do a live, it takes me a week to get ready for it. Okay, let me catch up on my feed. Yes, Laura. This, this punch is a lifesaver. Yes, Danny is junk journals and more. I know I'm probably really behind. I'm trying to catch up. Hey, Julie. Jules Journals is here. Mmm. Brooke says bacon. I know. I love me some bacon. Okay. Yes, Candy. You can, um, I'll show you. You can stitch them like on this other one. This one I did a straight stitch, but you don't have to. You can just glue them down and leave them that way. They're super cute either way. But see, on this one, I did a zigzag stitch. Are you leaving, Debbie? Well, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. 